So I wanted to show kind of how stiff he is with other dogs, even dogs that are being very appeasing. He doesn't want to sniff and smell a whole lot. And a lot of this stuff, like right now, I wouldn't even take him anywhere where he can meet a dog that you don't know. Um, because he's practicing a lot of really bad behaviors by not wanting to interact with certain dogs. And these are all a balanced pack. All very social, but they're not interacting how he wants them to. If they start playing, he wants to overly correct, which is that snappy, growly, not really growling, but he does kind of snap, which is that cattle dog type behavior. Um, so I wouldn't let him practice that at all. I would correct a little bit higher of a level with the e-collar for that, but we don't want to set him up to have to be corrected like that all the time. Um, so what we do is we really kind of set up his interactions so that they're positive and successful. Um, Cause this is more of like a pushy behavior where he's trying to be controlling, where he's marking over where other dogs are peeing. Um, in the very beginning, he wanted to kind of put his neck over their necks, he'll avoid. So all of this is avoidance. He's kind of acting more insecurely. <coughs> more hesitant and we want him to be sniffing smelling so he has backtracked a lot on his social skills so at this point as much as it's going to kill you I would not take him hiking or anything like that he needs to work on his social skills first before you throw him into where he's going to have to be corrected um, it's not benefiting him at all ah, naughty dog huh When they start running, he wants to control play. I'm not going to allow him to control play, even though he really wants to, because he's not a very good leader. We're walking on solid slush here, guys. Very good. And you'll notice that the dogs, they'll kind of come up and sniff every now and then. But they don't want to pay him too much attention and it's because his behavior is imbalanced. He's giving them funky vibes. So he's kind of becoming dog selective where we want him to be accepting of dogs. Um, he doesn't have to like all of them, but he does have to be accepting and respectful of them being around him so and it's a lot different for him to be in a situation where he's not around dogs that he's used to being around or comfortable with or his pack or things like that um, so he needs a lot more control um, I want you to kind of be OCD control freak with him and I want you to do it for a lengthy amount of time so we're gonna be really strict with him for a while because I don't want to see him escalate to where he's gonna start to cause fights He's almost there. Not anymore. <laughs> In the very beginning, anytime a dog would want to get the ball from him or anything like that, he'd be very snarky. In a dog park or somewhere like that, that's going to cause him to get in a fight. Oh, crazy. Come on. Nope, come on. Let's go. A little bit of sniffing there, which is good. But you can see he's very tense. So right now he's not a dog that I would Sorry, I'm watching them. He's not a dog I would just freely socialize. I'd really want to make sure that I set him up to be very positive with dogs. She's trying to flirt with him. <laughs> Good girl. <clears throat> huh, they're just trying to be his friends. Not as snappy as he was before. Very beginning. He was quite snappy when they'd come up to him and try and play or things like that. 
and he didn't want to play at that time. Good boy, there's some sniffing. Is he giving me your girlfriend? Ah, 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 ah. <clears throat> Timber, leave it. So when he gets uncomfortable and he thinks about snapping, which he did, I make him back off. 